If your toilet randomly runs and is driving you nuts, there are two solutions typically to that problem, and I'm gonna share those with you today. Normally, running toilets are caused by the flapper, so the flapper's gone bad, doesn't seal up against the flush valve, or you have a faulty fill valve. Now, I did wanna mention, this video is sponsored by Fluid Master, so I wanna send them many thanks for allowing me to do this video and hopefully help you out. The two products that I think will be very helpful to you are the Super Flapper, so this actually will fit two and three inch flapper types, which is great. And then the second product is even better. This is a kit that has the universal fill valve and the super flapper in it. Now this is the one that I recommend. So if you do the inspection of your toilet and your fill valve looks bad and the flapper looks bad, just get this because it's gonna save you multiple trips to the local hardware store and you're just gonna finish this project in no time versus having to go back and forth and get something that may or may not work. Step one is to inspect the flapper as well as the fill valve. And the best way to do that is simple. Just flush the toilet. Notice, this is probably kind of hard to hear, but this actually produced a double flush. And the reason why it did that is because the flapper stayed open too long. So it's not pivoting on the flush valve properly. So you want to definitely replace the flapper if you get a double flush or the bottom of it isn't sealing against the flush valve. And so you're getting that constant drip. The other thing that you want to do is inspect the float of the fill valve. If that doesn't rise up with the water, then you have a faulty fill valve and you want to replace it. Before you do anything inside the toilet, make sure that you turn the water off at the shutoff valve and then you can flush this and remove the rest of the water. Once the water's off, we can just flush this and hold up on the flapper. The goal is to drain most of the water from the toilet tank. This is especially important if you're gonna replace the fill valve, not so much if you're just gonna replace the flapper. In this case, it's easy to replace the flapper. There are two tabs on this flush valve, one on the left and one on the right. Take the flapper off of the tabs and then you can disconnect the chain from the lever. Step two is to figure out what size flapper you have. The nice thing with the super flapper packaging is it actually has a guide that'll help you figure out if you have a two or three inch flapper. So if your flapper covers this three inch ring, you have a three inch flapper. If you flip this up and your flapper covers the red ring, you have a two inch flapper. For example, this flapper covers the two inch ring. This is a two inch flapper, or more specifically, I have a two inch hole in my flush valve. So you wanna configure the super flapper to fit a two inch hole. And then the packaging shows you how to configure the super flapper for a two inch opening or a three inch opening. So for our two inch opening, we just wanna remove all the blue parts. So you just take this off, you take off this blue bulb like that, and then you take off these blue arms. The blue arms have these tabs on them, so you just wanna push up on those. And then what we're left with are the red arms. You wanna connect these to the tabs on the flush valve. So these go down like this. And then for this chain, we wanna configure it so that we have about a half inch of slack. So you can see I have a little bit of slack at the bottom here, and that's what you want. So now I'm gonna turn the water on. And we're gonna let the tank fill. And if the tank is in fact filling, you know that the flapper has sealed properly up against the flush valve. So this is actually an important step. If the tank has filled up with water and you don't hear it running, that means that obviously you do have the right flapper because it's sealing properly up against the flush valve. Now what we'll do is we'll flush it. And you wanna make sure that it goes down, otherwise you'll get that second flush. One thing that can hold these up though is any type of mineral deposits on the tabs of the flush valve. So you can clean those off. The cool thing with the super flapper is you can adjust the flush and they have instructions on how to do this. The bottom line is it comes pre-installed to maximize the amount of water that you're flushing. So if you're having trouble with the flush pushing solids down the toilet bowl, you wanna keep this maximum flush totally rotated clockwise. But if you wanna save money, follow the directions and rotate it counterclockwise until you can't flush three little squares of toilet paper down the bowl. And then you can rotate it back one notch 
and that'll maximize the flush. So you can do that with this blue knob. Now I'm gonna replace the fill valve and that all begins from down below. You just wanna turn this completely to the off position. Then I flush the toilet and hold the flapper up to completely drain the tank. The water supply line is connected to the bottom of the fill valve here. Typically, this is only hand tightened. But if you have trouble getting it off, you can use WD-40 at this connection. So for example, I'm just gonna unscrew this and I would just put a sponge underneath it to catch any water. There should not be much. And then this nut is the only thing connecting the fill valve to the toilet. So you just wanna twist it like this and it comes off. So at this point, we just remove this tube and you can lift the fill valve out of the bottom of the toilet. I would take a sponge and clean that area where the fill valve was because if that hole has some sediment on it, the rubber gasket from the fill valve won't seal properly and you'll get a leak. The Performax fill valve is great because it does produce a strong flush. When you get it, First thing you want to do is inspect this rubber gasket here and make sure that it's just one piece. Because this is what seals the water to the tank on the inside. This blue cap here, the top of it should be roughly three inches above this overflow pipe. So you can adjust that by twisting this back and forth like so. Once the Performax is at the right height, we can just slide it into that hole. And you wanna make sure that this port here is facing the tube or the pipe coming out of the flush valve. You wanna push this onto the refill port first. This is the refill clip. And you wanna attach the tube to the clip like so. Then you can push the clip onto the overflow tube here. Now this is too long. So what we need to do is trim this back. So if the tube is too long, you can take it off of the fill valve and then you can just kind of eyeball this and then we can reattach this to the fill valve. And then from here, we just have our nut and you just want to hand tighten this while holding the Performax. And what that does is seal the rubber gasket against the bottom of the tank. Here's a bonus tip. This is my old water supply line. And I noticed that it's kind of corroding on the inside. This rubber gasket is corroding. I highly recommend replacing your water supply line with a new one at this point too. Probably the best money you'll spend because this is also a leak point for any toilet. Again, this just attaches by hand. Keep turning it till you make a tight seal. And then the same deal down here, you just wanna hand tighten it and make sure that you don't cross thread it. Then I'll use my Knipex pliers wrench here to tighten that another quarter to half turn. You don't wanna over tighten this because what that does is flatten the rubber gasket and it could potentially create a leak. And then I'd recommend turning this on slowly. And you can check for any leaks here at the shutoff valve as well as above at the fill valve connection. At this point, it's important to check that the water is about one half inch from the top of this overflow pipe. And you can adjust that with this little knob here. So if you turn it counterclockwise, you're gonna add less water to the tank. And if you turn it clockwise, like I'm doing here, it's gonna fill up the tank a little bit more so that you can get the water closer to the top of the overflow pipe. The Performax is very easy to install and you can also adjust the water level in the bowl with this little knob here. And I have a different video that shows you how to do that. I'll link to it here so that you can check that out. But at this point, you can tell that we have a new flapper. So that's not gonna be problematic and cause the toilet to randomly run. And we have a new fill valve. So same thing here, you won't get any intermittent running of the toilet and you'll save money on the installation as well as your water bill. I put the links to the Super Flapper as well as the Performax fill valve and the kit, which I really like, down in the description of this video. You can also check them out over at fluidmaster.com or buy them at any home store. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.